Imagine having the power to create unlimited AI-generated images anytime you want without having to worry about monthly fees or subscriptions. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you an AI image generator that offers you just that. With this tool, you'll have access to stunning high-quality images for life. And so today, we'll just go ahead and explore how this tool works. We'll see all the creative possibilities that it unlocks and whether or not it's actually worth your time. So now stick around because if you're a content creator or you just love experimenting with AI, this could actually change the game for you. Now, before we get started, kindly remember to hit that subscribe button. Also remember to like and share this video so that more people can benefit from it. Now, to get started, we'll go over to artspace.ai and once you're here, you'll just go ahead and click on start your seven day free trial. So once you've registered for an account, you will land on this page. So to start creating, go ahead and click on this button over here and you'll be redirected to this page. So now once you're here, this is the simple interface and there's also the expert interface. So once you switch on this button, now this is the expert interface. So we'll just explore the two. So let's start with the simple interface. First, we have the prompt box area over here. Then next, you can change the aspect ratio from down here. Then this is the generation button. On the left hand side, we have some more settings. For instance, we have the gallery. We also have the membership. This is where you can see your membership. We also have the community as well as some materials to help you get started with the platform. And finally, we have the affiliate button. Now to get started with this, it's simple. All you need to do is go ahead and input your prompt down here. So now I have input a simple prompt. Now I'll go ahead and change the aspect ratio from down here and then hit the generate button. The image generation process with this tool is quite fast. So once the image has been generated, you can just go ahead and look at it. And if you're satisfied, then you can choose to go ahead and just hit this download button. The next thing you can choose to do is just go ahead and clear the canvas by clicking on this X button up here. So basically that's just it for the simple interface. Now I'll just go ahead and zoom this image so that you can see the quality of the image. And to be honest, I feel like this is a really, really good image. Now let's just go ahead and explore the expert interface. So to do that, I'll just go back to the very top. So I'll just unzoom this and go to the very top and click on this button. So this here is the expert interface. As you can see on the left hand side, we have the same settings as we had in the simple interface. But on the right hand side, we have some additional settings. Starting at the very top, we have the model. So you can go ahead and choose any of the models that are available. As you can see, they have quite a number of models that you can go ahead and choose from. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and choose the Nova 2024 Flux. Next up, we have the Boost Visual Vibrance. So you can choose to have this on or off. After that, we also have the Smart Content Filter. If you choose to have this feature off, you're going to see this alert over here. And basically, it just requires you to accept the terms that you're going to create your content responsibly. So I'll just click on I accept, then I'll just go back to the canvas. Next, we have the negative prompt. Now you can go ahead and input anything that you do not want to see in your image. So you can just go ahead and input it there. Next, we have the seed number. So if you have a specific seed number that you want to use for image guidance, you can go ahead and input it over here. Otherwise, you can just have a random seed number or you can just leave it blank. Up here, we have some additional settings. First, we have this move feature. And with this, once it's on, you can go ahead and move anything that's in the canvas. So you can just move it around or to the side, whichever you like. Next, we have the zoom and unzoom features. So we have the zoom feature for the art box. We also have the zoom and unzoom feature for the entire canvas. So with this, you can just increase the size of the canvas and the art box and everything else inside of it, as well as the unzoom box. It's just going to do the opposite. On this other side, we have the download button. So this one will allow you to download your created images. Next, we have the upload button that will allow you to upload from your computer. Next, we have the upload to gallery that allows you to upload your images to the public gallery in Artspace. To fully explore the rest of the features, you're going to create an image first. So in this prompt box over here, I'll just go ahead and input my prompt. Once that is done, I'll just go ahead and choose an aspect ratio. So the aspect ratio is up here now. So you can choose any of the available ones or just go ahead and input your own custom one. Now I'll go ahead and hit the generate button. 
A few seconds later, you can see our image is now ready. Now to move the contents of the canvas, I'll click on this move button. Then as you can see, I'm able to move everything to the side. Now I'll just go ahead and input a different prompt because I want to create a different image. Once I input my prompt, I'll just go ahead and click on the generate button because I want to use the same aspect ratio for the second image. And now here we have our image, as you can see, very nice, very quality images. So now let's just go ahead and start exploring some of the features that we have in this expert interface. So let's just do this practically. Now, first, I'll just go ahead and click on this formula button. Now, if you know what you want to create, but you do not know how to formulate the prompt, all you need to do is just go ahead and input your subject up here. For instance, I'm going to say I want uh, maybe an image of a cartoon elephant. Next, you can go ahead and choose the style that you want to use. If you know the style that you want to go with, you can go ahead and choose it from all these styles. Next, you can go ahead and choose the artist that you probably want to reference. You can also go ahead and choose the format that you want to go with. But if you do not know any of these things, you can just go ahead and click all this off. Remember, this came already pre-filled and we do not want this information. So we are just going to input our subject and once that is done, we can, we can go ahead and fill the rest on our own or you can just leave them blank. So in this case, I'll just go to the very bottom and click Inspire. And as you can see, everything else has already been filled for us. And at the very bottom, we already have a prompt that has been formulated. So now we can just go ahead and click Apply. Once you do that, the prompt will be exported to your prompt box. Now, once you have your prompt over here, you can choose to go ahead and tweak it. You can add some a few words, maybe. Maybe you can go ahead and choose to remove some other words. It's totally up to you. In this case, I'll just go ahead and create with it as it is. So now let's just go ahead and wait for our image. So now here is the resulting image. So basically, if you want to have a bit more control over the image that you end up getting, you can just go ahead and uh, be sure of the style that you want to have in your image as well as the format. But basically, you can just go ahead and have the AI do all this for you. Now, let's just go ahead and explore the in painting feature. In this case, I'll just go ahead and click on this erase button. And now you can go ahead and increase or decrease the size of the eraser. So now I'll just go ahead and erase the part that I want to go ahead and in paint. In this case, I want to have a dog standing beside the girls. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and erase a portion that is beside the girls. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Next, I'll just go ahead and input the prompt that I want to use. In this case, I'll just say a dog that is walking in the park. So once you've input this prompt, the next thing that you need to do is just go over and bring the prompt box, uh, sorry, the art box over to the area that you want to in paint. Because remember that anything that is being created has to happen inside the, um, the art box, sorry. So now I'll just go over and to drag the art box over to this image. Next, I'll just go ahead and place it nicely over the image that I want to in paint. So just like this. Now, once that is done, I can go ahead and hit the generate button. So I'll just go ahead and click on this generate button down here. Next, I'll just click OK to this alert. Now I'll just go ahead and reposition the art box. So the art box has to be over the area that I want to in paint. So I'm just going to place it nicely like that, then hit the generate button. Shortly afterwards, here we have our in painted image. Now, let me just go ahead and zoom this so that you can see it clearly. As you can see here, we have our dog that is walking beside the girls in the park. Now, let's go ahead and explore the outpainting feature. In this case, I'll go ahead and clear the canvas. And to do this, I'll go to the very top and click on this clear button. Now, I'll just go ahead and click on clear the entire canvas. Don't worry, your images are not lost. Now, I'll go ahead and input a different prompt over here so that I can create a different image. So once I do that, I'll just go ahead and hit the generate button. This time I'll just do it a square one. Now here we have the image. Now I want to go ahead and outpaint this image. So I'll go ahead and place this art box where I want it to be so that the image can be the size that I want. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and place it here just like this. You can choose to go ahead and use the same prompt that you used earlier on. But if you want to see something different in the outpainted area, you can go ahead and use a different prompt. In this case, I'll just go ahead and use the same prompt that I used. 
So now let's go ahead and see the kind of image we get with this. So here is the outpainted image and you can see the result is actually really good. Now let's say you went ahead and outpainted your image but you had a change of heart later on and you want to have your original image. Now all you have to do is just go ahead and undo what you did and to do that just go to the very top and click on this undo button and as you can see we now have our original image. Now if you did that by mistake and you want to redo something just go ahead and click on the redo button and there you have it. Now if you want to download your image all you have to do is click on this download button and in this case you can choose to go ahead and download each image alone. Next you can choose to download all of them as a carousel or you can choose to download all of them as a zip file. Now that will apply if you have several images in your canvas. In my case I can just download the selected image or just go ahead and close this. Next we have the upload button so if you want to upload to the gallery you can go ahead and upload your image if you feel like it's worth showcasing. So you'll be able to upload it to the Artspace gallery to the Artspace public gallery. So to do that, all you have to do is click on the confirm button. In my case, I'll just go ahead and close this. Next up, we have the clear button. So in this case, you can go ahead and use it to clear the entire canvas, or you can choose to go ahead and clear a specific image in the canvas. Next up, we have the history button. So with this button, you can go ahead and see all the images that you've been creating. In this case, you'll be able to view the images as thumbnails, but you can also see all the details, including the model that was used to generate the image, as well as the prompt, the dimension, the seed, and the action that you can go ahead and take for that specific image. I'll go to the very bottom and close this. Now, we've been using the same model all through, so I'll just go ahead and choose a different model. So in this case, I'll go ahead and choose the Dream Studio one. Next, I'll just go ahead and input a very simple prompt in the prompt box. In this case, I'll just say I want uh, maybe a cartoon boy. So once that's done again, I'll just hit generate. And here we have the images that we wanted. If you look inside the generated image, you can see a number of tools. So first we have zoom, next we have magic, and third we have clear. Now we've explored zoom and clear. So in this case, we are just going to explore the magic button. Now, once you click on this, you see there are a number of things that you can do. So first, you can go ahead and upscale the image. Next, we have the restore feature, reimagine feature, face swap, discover the prompt that was used for the image, as well as the remove background feature. Now, I'll just go ahead and use the upscale feature. In this case, the image will be upscaled to the highest possible size, which is 1496 times 1496. So here is the upscaled image. I'll just go ahead and zoom it out so that you can see it clearly. So basically that's it with Artspace AI. You can see it's a pretty easy tool to use whether you're using the expert interface or the simple interface. So looking at the pricing plan of this tool, first you can get a lifetime deal for as low as $67. But then again, there are all these other lifetime deals that you can choose to go for depending on your image generation needs. Again, if you do not want a lifetime deal, they also have these monthly plans that you can go for. The monthly plans start for as low as $5. And to be honest, this is one of the most affordable AI image generators that I have seen so far. Now, you can go ahead and try this for absolutely free. So they have this 7-day free trial that you can take advantage of. So you can go ahead and try this out for free. That way, you'll be able to see the kind of images you can expect to get if you choose to become a subscriber. I have left all the necessary links in the description box below. So give it a run. Let me know what you think. And thanks so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.